and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. We are here in Las Cruces. Las Cruces? Baracas? I can't pronounce it. Put the link below. I'll put a description below where I am. In New Mexico, uh, KOA, here is the setup. Spot 68. Got 50 amps water. The water is a little bit odd because water is on the other side for this one. 50 amps sewer water. What I really like about this park is that they have these pads. It's a good length. It's big enough for Wanda for me not to unhitch. And they have these pads right here. And if you stay on the pad, according to the lady at the check-in, she says you're level. And I am. I'm leveled left and right. So they have pads, these level pads, in all their sites here. Or they're starting to put them in. Some over here where you have to detach. And I think they're putting some over there. Back in sites over here. Oh, there's a magnificent view of the valley. That back in sites with a really good view. Looks like they're building they're building new ones up here with leveled pads. These have already been done. I think these are their premium KOA patio sites. A nice view if you back in. We're here for one night. This is halfway point to Carlsbad. We have both air conditioners on. It's 85 degrees out here right now. It's kind of pleasant, but not enough, not pleasant enough for a nap or sleeping as far as I'm concerned. Okay, we'll see you at Carlsbad Caverns. Today we are at the Guadalupe Mountains National Park. Raising, rising from the desert, this mountain mass contains portions of the world's most extensive Permian limestone fossil reef. Guadalupe Peak, the highest point in Texas, at 8,749 feet, is a significant park feature. Opportunities to learn and have fun await visitors in this hidden gem of West Texas. The peak is over there. There's the peak. Right, right, right there. Where is it? There it is. That's the peak. They do have RB parking, but it's really tight. So I'm a little beyond the lines, but I still fit, kind of. Okay, on to the visitor center. We are at the Carlsbad KOA. It is in a very desolate location. We're about 12 miles from Carlsbad. The town itself. And here's a set of 50 amps water sewer. They do have a sewer in the middle. And they also have a sewer in the back. And it's a very large RV site. And they told me all their sites are this long. So they can accommodate very big RVs. Several airstreams here. There's one over there. There's another one over there. There's another one over there. There's another one over there. Lots of airstreams. They do have a cafe here. Open daily from 3 to 7. You can order pizza, sandwiches. They also have a barbecue. Have a pool but I don't think it's open it's too cold 
We're about a 45 minute drive to Carlsbad Caverns. All right, as you can see, we are at Carlsbad Caverns. We are, I am actually not going in the caverns. I've done this twice, three times. The first time with my parents, we did go down there and took, there was a very long line downstairs. It seemed like there were thousands of people down there and took the elevator up. I don't remember much about that trip. However, Walter and I did do this trip, I think five years ago. And we walked down and it took us almost three hours. And then we were sore for three days. Our legs were not moving. And I do recall the line to the elevator up was almost an hour and a half. And it seemed like there were thousands of people down there. Anyway, Carlsbad Caverns National Park, established to preserve numerous caves within a premium, permian, permian, age fossil reef. Oh, it's, it used to be a reef. This park contains more than 100 known caves, including Lagolich Ugula. <laughs> Cave, the nation's deepest and fourth longest limestone cave at 1,567 feet. Bones from Ice Age animals like jaguars, lions, and giant sloths have been found here. Right, let's go get my stamp, get some postcards, take a picture with the cave entrance, but that's about it. Not going in. I was told by KOA that you need to make a reservation and the reservations are out two days. So if you plan on being here right now, right now it is April 16th. Oh, tax day. April 16th. So you need to be two days out if you wanted to go down to the cave. They're limiting the number of people right now because of this. Well, I have my own personal opinions about it. Okay, it does look like they have limited RV parking up here. But again, limited and not too large. Okay. Doing laundry today, as you can see. And I'm going to leave you here. And tomorrow I leave for Las Caracas. Caracas? I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.